If you've learned with me before, you know that I really like organization. I think it's one of the best things we can do for our photographs. When you can find something quickly and find an image that you're looking for in under 10 seconds, there's something about that feeling that just really makes all of the time and effort you put into organization super worth it. Today I want to take a look at how we can organize our photos, not by the subject matter that's in them, but by the location that we took them, where the images were actually captured. Now, if you have a GPS enabled camera or phone or whatever it happens to be, this video is not really for you. You would utilize the map module in Lightroom to do your location based organization. This is for the people who maybe just own a DSLR, doesn't have a GPS unit, but they'd still like the benefit of being able to search by location to find the certain image they're looking for. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. Now, the process starts by finding a group of images that were all shot in the same location. So, my wife and I took a trip down to the southwestern United States this spring, and on our way down there, we traveled through Death Valley National Park, which is one of my favorite national parks. If you haven't gone there to shoot, go. It's beautiful, hands down worth it. But I've gone there multiple times, and I might want to, at some point in the future, be able to, in Lightroom, type in the words Death Valley National Park, and see all of the images that I took there. Now, could this also be achieved with keywords or collections or some other organizational tools? Yes. But if you want a dedicated box to type in the location that an image was taken, this is how we go about doing that. Now, what we want to do first is select the images that were shot in the same place. So here I've got a bunch of images that were all shot around the stovepipe wells in Death Valley. If you're familiar with the area, there's some beautiful sand dunes there. So I'm going to select these images. And then we need to go to the metadata panel on the right hand side. So you can see on the right here, I've got my metadata panel and I'm going to open it up. Now, there are lots of different types of metadata and I can click this drop down at the top of metadata to show you. There's what's called EXIF metadata, IPTC metadata, all these different things. One of the types of metadata is actually called location. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that on this little drop down at the top of metadata. I'm going to pick location. Now, in here it gives us some boxes, one for sublocation, one for city, one for state, a lot of different things. Well, I'm going to type in, I'm going to click inside this sublocation box. And I'm going to type in, and again, this is up to us. Adobe doesn't care what we type in here. So don't feel like you have to follow some regimented list of only these characters are allowed, these aren't. This is your box. Type what you want. In this case, I'm going to type sand dunes. That'll be my sublocation. Hit enter. And you may get a little box that pops up that says, are you sure you want to write this metadata to all files? I like to say don't show again and then yes, because if I have multiple images selected, it can be pretty sure, I'm pretty certain that I want to actually do what I'm doing to all of those photos. So that little box annoys me. But anyway, we get that done. I'm going to click inside of city and type stovepipe wells, hit enter. I'm going to go to state and we're going to go California. Now again, doesn't matter whether you do a capital, like the abbreviation for the state, or whether you do just the full spelled out state. As long as when you are searching, you do the same thing as what you do when you're entering, there's no issues. So we'll get that typed in. For country, I'm going to choose USA. And there we go. Now, you don't have to populate all four of those fields if you just want to do sublocation or just do city or just do state. That's fine too. Again, these boxes are yours. So we've input that information. And what this has told Lightroom is that this set of images that we have currently selected were taken in stovepipe wells at the sand dunes in California in the United States of America. Now, right now, that doesn't seem super useful. If you just got back from the trip, you're like, eh, whatever, it's not, not that cool. But here's what's neat about it. If I go to all my photographs on the left-hand side here, I literally am seeing every single picture I've ever taken, like in my life. There's a ton of photos in there, 28,360. Five years from now, I might want to find those images that I took in Death Valley. It's this easy. At the very top of the grid view, there's this little thing called the library filter. And in there, there's a button that says text. Now, if you don't see your library filter, you need to hit the backslash on the keyboard. It's a keyboard shortcut that can hide or show the library filter. So if you don't see it, tap the backslash key. It's uh, upper right hand of the keyboard right below the backspace key. So you can see if I tap that right now, 
it hides that or brings that little bar back. So we'll make sure it's visible. I'm going to click text. And then all I'm going to do, let me delete out of here what I have. All I'm going to do is type in, let's say, stovepipe wells. And you can see as soon as I get done typing, boom, the computer searches through all of my images, all 28,000 of them, and displays only the ones that meet the criteria of having stovepipe wells in there. It's that simple. This is hugely powerful. If you are a photographer who travels a lot and you do a lot of things in a lot of different countries and a lot of different places, being able to be like, oh yeah, remember that trip I took to this location? You type it in Lightroom and just like that, you don't have to look through folders, you don't have to like dig through some crazy cryptic organization structure. You literally just type the words and Lightroom shows you the photos. It's that simple. Now, like I said at the beginning, is this any different than keywording the images with these things or putting the images in a collection called Stovepipe Wells? Not at all. All of Lightroom's organizational tools essentially do the same thing. This is just my favorite way to do a location-based organization kind of tactic within Lightroom. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps our videos grow in the search results. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. If you have a question, comment, concern, video idea, whatever it happens to be, leave it down in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys. And I love hearing video ideas. I've gotten a lot of great video ideas from the comment section. So thank you all for that. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, if you want weekly videos on Lightroom, Photoshop, camera stuff, whatever it happens to be, click the subscribe button down there in the corner and get subscribed. Thanks for watching.